mindset of the day. So today's mindset is all about anxiety. Now, I know we're touching on this a few times uh, over the course of this, but it's something that is really important and the anxiety levels of most people are, is only gonna get worse and worse and worse as it goes on until we find a solution to either uh, what, our, what our issues are. Um, and everyone's issues are gonna be completely different at this point in time. But for most of us, it's job security, uh, not being able to see family, uh, whether it be interstate in the same town or overseas. Uh, there's gonna be so many things that are gonna create or cause anxiety over not just now, but coming into the next couple of weeks and months that it's really important that we really keep on top of this now. So we're giving you a few different tools in order to help. Now, these meditation sessions aren't for everybody, uh, but I can tell you if you give it the time and you allow yourself to listen through and go along with everything that I say, then it's, you're actually gonna find these incredible. Uh, you'll find that you'll be able to use these again and again and again and you'll get better and better and better at these every single time you do them. Now, I know myself that uh, there's a bit of an anxious time at the moment, um, like from a business point of view or from a personal point of view, uh, and I know that uh, everything's going to be okay, but sometimes it's really hard to tell yourself that in the moment, and uh, thoughts that may not necessarily be what you think consciously are in there in the back of your mind and they can really play with your energy levels and your emotions and um, your outlook on life. So it's really important to get on top of those thoughts really, really quickly. Yes, it's okay to feel sad and that's a really important thing to, to know. It's okay to feel anxious, it's okay to feel stressed, it's okay to feel sad, it's a, that is a normal part of life. But it's not okay when it becomes chronic. And what I mean by chronic is if it's every single day for long periods of the day, for multiple days or weeks on end, and we're always feeling this way, then that's really gonna take its toll on your body and mind. So we need to have methods and means to alleviate it when it comes up. So we still learn from what the anxiety is teaching us. We still learn that we need to do things now and put things into play now in order to prevent the thing you're being anxious about uh, or at least alleviate the thing that you're being anxious about. Uh, so you need to do everything that is within your control right now and we need to be able to switch off from the things that are not in our control. Now that's again, easy for me to say it here from the other side of the camera, but I'm gonna give you some tips and tools now in order to help you with that. And watching back these mindset videos, uh, whether it's one where we do go into meditation and go into a deep relaxation state, or whether it's the ones where I literally just give you something to do, like getting outside and seeing the sun and taking your shoes off. Every mindset of the day that we do is going to help you and assist you be less stressed, be more calm, and be more happy and positive and have that better outlook on life. All right, so we're gonna start now with a little bit of a tester. So what I want you to do is I want you to lift your hands up, your palms up in front of your face, just facing towards each other. And as your palms are facing towards each other, I want you to place your palms together and I want you to interlock all of your fingers except for your two pointer fingers. I want you to keep them pointing up like a pistol. And now I want you to focus and take your attention to those two fingers. And as you stare at those two fingers, you're gonna pull them apart really hard, but keep clenching your fists hard. We're gonna pull them apart about two centimeters. And now what I want you to focus on is the gap, the space between those two fingers. 
And as you continue to focus, focus on the space between those two fingers with everything else around you starting to blur, starting to quiet, and all of your focus is just purely on the gap, the space between those two fingers. And as you continue to focus, focus on the space between those two fingers, you will notice the space is getting smaller. You will notice that the gap, the space between those two fingers is getting smaller and your fingers are being drawn to each other, drawn to each other like a magnet. You continue to focus and focus on the space between those two fingers. And you'll notice that your fingers get closer and closer together. You even might laugh a little bit, wondering why. Why are your fingers drawn together like two magnets being pulled together by a magnetic force? You'll have a little bit of a laugh and then just allow those fingers to come together closer and closer. In fact, the harder you try and pull those fingers away, the stronger they are drawn together, closer and closer together. In fact, try, try now to pull those fingers away, but you'll notice that you can't. You can't pull them away. And as you try to try and pull them away, they get closer and closer. And when your two fingers touch, they are stuck, stuck tight like glue, super glued together. And now your fingers get pulled together and are stuck, stuck together. You continue to focus on those two fingers. And as you focus on those two fingers, you notice that they are getting tighter and tighter pulling together stronger and stronger. And in a moment now, I am going to click my fingers. And as I click my fingers, your fingers will simply come apart. And there we go, fingers apart and relax. So whether your fingers came, to part, came together then or stayed apart, you will notice that they wanted to come together. And if they didn't come together, that just means that you were not allowing them to come together. So no matter what, that worked for you. So if they came together and they came together well, great, you're in a great state of mind, we're ready to go on to the next part of today's session. If you fought and did not allow them to come together, that is you in your mind not allowing them to come together. So what I want you to focus on from here on in is just allow to happen whatever happens. Don't fight it, don't try and do it. Just allow yourself to relax and let go because that's really important. We need to allow ourselves to let go of negative emotions, to let go of the anxiety. And we also have to allow ourselves to feel the positive things that are happening, feel the positive energy and allow ourselves to see the positive effects that are taking hold over the world right now. So in this next part, I'm going to get you to close your eyes. So just wherever you're sitting now, whether it be in a chair, remember you're not allowed to do this if you're driving or operating heavy machinery. You must be sitting in a chair at home and then even somewhere where at the end of this you could just go to sleep. So when you're sitting in your chair, I just want you to have your feet flat on the floor your hands just relax down on the top of your legs. And I want you to allow your eyes to gently close over. Just allow those eyes to close over and relax. And what I want you to imagine now, I want you to imagine that you are standing in a classroom. And this classroom can be 
a classroom that you have been in before, whether it be from your primary school or your high school, college or university. It can be a real place or an imaginary place. It's your classroom. It can be something you've seen out of a movie or watched on a TV show, or you can just make it up in your mind. At the front of the classroom is a big whiteboard. And I want you to go up to that whiteboard now. Imagine yourself walking through the classroom, through the front door, past all the chairs. Are they the red plastic chairs? Are they wooden chairs? Whatever kind of chairs that you imagine in your classroom. And as you approach the whiteboard, you'll notice on the ledge of the whiteboard, a big black whiteboard marker. And I want you to take that whiteboard marker up now and on the whiteboard, in big black letters, I want you to write the number 10, one, zero. And as you write the number 10, you look over at the ledge where you got the whiteboard marker from and you'll notice a whiteboard eraser. And you pick the whiteboard eraser up. Now, in a moment now, we are going to wipe off the number 10 and write the number nine. And every time you wipe away one of these numbers, every time you wipe away a number, you and your mind become 10 times deeper relaxed. With every number you wipe off, you literally feel your muscles, your joints, every fiber, every muscle becoming more and more relaxed. So as we take that whiteboard eraser now, we reach up, wipe out the number 10, 10 times deeper, relax. We take up the whiteboard marker and we write nine. We take out the eraser we rub it off nine, 10 times deeper, relaxed, more and more relaxed with every number you write up and then wide off the board, you become more and more relaxed, deeper and deeper, relaxed. We take out the whiteboard marker, eight, and the eraser, wipe it off, eight, more and more relaxed. You feel your shoulders drop down, heavy, heavy and deeply relaxed. Write it up, seven, wipe it off, seven, more and more relaxed. Your head now so heavy and relaxed. It either wants to tilt forward or lean to the side, knowing that you are safe here, safe, deeply, deeply relaxed. The whiteboard marker, six. And the eraser, six more and more relaxed with every number we write up on the whiteboard and every time we wipe it off, we become more and more relaxed, deeply sinking into the seat, into your bed, wherever you are sitting, you become more and more relaxed, deeper and deeper relaxed. Five on the board. Rub it off, five, more and more relaxed. You now feel that your legs are becoming 
heavy, heavy, deep and relaxed. Ride it up. Four. Rub it off. Four. More and more relaxed. With every number we rub off the board, we become more and more relaxed. With every number we rub off, ten times deeper relaxed. Ride it up. Three. Rub it off. Three, more and more relaxed. You'll find now that your body and your mind are so deeply relaxed. And you'll realize you are able to let go. You are able to allow your body to just let go. Go and relax deeper and deeper. Two. Two. Ten times deeper. Relaxed. So relaxed now. It doesn't matter if you hear things around you. It doesn't matter if anyone annoys you. Doesn't matter if you hear sounds. You don't need to do anything right now. Just need to be here, allowing yourself to relax and let go and listen to the sound of my voice. One. One. Ten times deeper, relaxed. So relaxed now, no one needing anything from you, no one wanting anything from you. It's just you here listening to the sound of my voice. And as you sit there completely Relaxed every muscle and every fiber in the classroom at the whiteboard. You feel now you're going to leave the classroom and go outside. And as you go outside, I want you to allow yourself to drift deeper and deeper, drifting and drowsing. Drifting down, down into total relaxation. And as you drift deeper and deeper into this calm, relaxing feeling, you know that you can feel safe and secure and very comfortable. So just continue to drift down deeper and deeper down as you listen to the sound of my voice. Now, because you are so very calm and relaxed, you can be aware of the minutest movements of your body. And as you are conscious of the gentle beating of your heart and the steady rhythm of each breath, breathing gently and slowly and evenly. And as you focus, focus on your breathing even and slow, slow and even. I would now like you to focus back to your classroom as you are leaving. And as you leave, 
I want you to imagine that you step outside of the classroom into a beautiful forest. This can be any forest that you would love to be in. It is your imagination, it is your forest. It can be a rainforest or a woodland forest. It can be a native forest or whatever forest you would love to see. Take your time to imagine this forest, your forest. And once you can visualize yourself in this forest, I want you to imagine yourself sitting down on a fallen log. And just beside you, there is a stream of water, not a big river, just a creek or a little stream. And you can hear the sound of the running water as you were sitting down on the fallen log in your forest. Listen carefully, because it isn't just the sound of the stream that you can hear. You can hear the animals, the birdies singing, the animals rustling in the leaves, And as the sun shines down through the foliage of the trees onto the grass and the flowers or plants that are nearby, you can see the warm sunshine sparkling on this gently flowing stream that you are sitting beside, sitting on the fallen log in your forest. Perhaps you can recall the earthy aroma of leaves and fresh water, the smell of the forest as the gentle breeze blows all these smells into your nose. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and take in all of the smells of the forests, beautiful and fresh. There may also be the occasional creak in the trees as the trees touch together. Or seeds from the trees or leaves falling into the water. Drop into the water making a ripple sound. Every now and again, you hear other little sounds in the distance. Yet it is so peaceful here, you feel so very calm and relaxed. All the other sounds don't matter, except for the sounds of the forest, which make you feel calm, calm and relaxed. You are not surprised to notice a baby animal which is playing in the leaves. It can be a wallaby or a rabbit. Whatever animal you think would be in your forest. Its little tail bobbing up and down, nose twitching, looking for food. You watch the animal for a few moments, mesmerised by this tiny, busy animal at play and on the hunt for something to eat. And then, without any warning at all, the little rabbit bolts away, or the little animal bolts away, as if in fright, as though an unseen predator was lurking nearby, ready to pounce on your furry little animal friend. The animal swiftly disappears down into their burrow or into their nest or wherever they go that is safe. 
it went to escape this imaginary threat. And as you look over, you'll see another animal, the same type of animal, that was in the exact same situation, but it stood motionless, frozen, as if it had submitted to this imaginary threat, submitted to the catch. Of course, the animal that you saw was using the primitive fight or flight instinct as a response to help it escape. Its heart was pounding, its blood flow to its muscles increased, the flow of blood to the digestive system was cut off as the body immediately released some adrenaline enough to allow her to quickly flee and escape this imaginary threat. She discharged all of the energy from her body in order to escape back to the burrow or the nest or wherever it was safe. Now there is a story in that because we as humans sometimes also feel threatened. But rarely are these threats anything like those of your little friend animal. Rarely are these threats a threat to our life or those of the lives of the people that we love. But because we can't always be in a fight or run away from undesirable situations, the responses remain locked in within us for a period of time. And we may even begin to fear our body's own natural response, always imagining the worst is about to happen when it's not. Now I mentioned earlier that anxiety or this fear is really important if it is saving us from a predator. But when it becomes bad is when it is chronic and we are scared of the thought, the feelings of our perceived threat and it becomes chronic. So by being aware of these responses, we can immediately discharge them, freeing ourselves of the feelings of panic or anxiety, whichever symptoms are generated. And every time you discharge one of those symptoms of anxiety, you immediately feel proud of yourself. And this reinforces the positive cycle. And you need or want to just relax. So remember, the body cannot feel two conflicting emotions at once. So, whenever you feel yourself tensing or anxiety rising, all you need to do is slow down. To do this, we're going to take a big breath in through the nose, hold and out through the mouth and allow our body to relax. Now I'm going to show you another technique which you will find useful should those old feelings of panic or anxiety ever return. To do this you will need to locate the area of the body where you feel the anxiety. Now for some people or for most people, you will feel it in the centre of your chest. For others, it may be in the throat, or even in the back of the neck or head, or sometimes it could be anywhere, anywhere on the body, but wherever you feel, whenever you feel stressed or anxious, wherever you feel that emotion, that is where I want you to focus on. Just be aware of those unwanted feelings manifesting themselves and remember 
your body is simply experience a primitive response and needs a little help in order to feel better. So, focus. Focus on that feeling or where you feel that feeling if it and when it does occur, just for a second or two and imagine it shrinking, shrinking in size, smaller and smaller. And now, as this feeling shrinks in size, direct that feeling to the top of your shoulder, all the way down through your arm. It doesn't matter which arm, but bring it down from the shoulder, down through the arm, and have that feeling now rest in the palm of your hand. Feel and experience that anxiety there in the palm of your hand. Hold it tight for a moment or two. That's right. Form a really tight fist and then with all of your might, throw it away. Get rid of it, discard it. Get rid of it at once. We do not need it anymore because we know how to control our anxiety. And as you discard that unwanted negative feeling, you immediately feel light, happy, more in control and proud that you were able to deal with that anxiety and simply shrink it, bring it to the palm of your hand and throw it away. You now feel yourself free, positive, happy and feel like that anxiety does not have control of you anymore, but you control of it. It is such a release. It is gone. It has no business there in the beginning. And so you have taken control. You've rid yourself of that anxious feeling. Now that you've got rid of the feeling and you feel so light, happy and positive, I want you to take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and feel yourself slow down and become more happy, positive and relaxed. And again, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax more and more slow down. And as you take a few more big deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth and with every breath, you become more and more relaxed and feel more and more positive that you are able to easily now deal with any time that anxiety pops up, wherever you feel it, you are able to shrink it down, put it into the palm of your hand, squeeze it tight and throw the anxiety away. And it will not bother you anymore. In fact, you will feel instantly relaxed, refreshed, positive and happy that you are in control of your anxiety. Now, from now on, you don't have to imagine taking the anxiety, shrinking it, putting it in the palm of your hand and throwing it away. That is automatically going to happen. All you have to do is take a few deep breaths in through the nose. Let's do it now, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And that anxiety will automatically shrink up to the shoulder, down through the arm, into the palm of the hand and be let go and thrown away. You don't have to think about doing it. All you need to do is breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth and the anxiety will take care of itself and you will be in control and instantly 
feel happy, positive, and in control. And that anxious feeling will be gone from wherever you feel it, and you will feel happy, positive, and in control. And you can relax your body in this way whenever you feel any signs of a panic returning. Whenever you have any trigger, whenever you're put into any situation that you may feel a little bit anxious or a little bit stressed, you can just now breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and that anxiety will immediately shrink, go down through the arm into the palm and be thrown away instantly and you'll be able to be back in control and that feeling of anxiety will be gone and will be replaced with a feeling of happy, positive feelings, ready to take on. So now you know how to take control of your anxiety. So let's bring our attention back to your forests, to the little animals, now back out at play because they too are not worried about the creaks that they heard in the trees because they know that you're there to keep them safe. Looking down at your stream and hearing the water trickle, listening into the sounds of the forest, the birds, the trees creaking together. And as you focus on the sounds and sights of the forest around you, in a moment, I am going to count from one to five. And when you hear the number five, you will open your eyes and you will take one deep breath in through the nose and with that breath in, positive, happy, excited, motivated emotions will be drawn into your body and will remain there. Then as you exhale, all the bad, negative, anxious emotions will be gone and you will feel so great. So I am going to count from one to five and with every number you will start to feel more happy and positive and more in control and on the number five you will take one big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth and you'll inhale all of the positive emotions and exhale all of the negative emotions and you will feel happy, positive and great. One, slowly but surely coming back, allowing yourself to come out of this state of relaxation. Two, more and more awake, being filled with happy, positive, energetic feelings. Three, more and more awake with every number you become more awake more positive more happy and exhaling all of the negative emotions four more and more awake coming back to this room on the next number you will instantly open your eyes and you will take your big breath in through the nose taking all of the positive affirmations we've gone through today and then you'll exhale through the mouth and get rid of all of the negative emotions and five, wide awake, open your eyes and breathe in. Positive, happy feelings and out, negative emotions all gone, all disappeared, only left with happy, positive, motivated feelings, ready to take on the day. Take a moment now to just slowly come back to the room and remember that at any time, if you feel like you need a pick-me-up, if you feel a little bit anxious, stressed, all you need to do from now on is take a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you'll instantly be filled with positive emotions and all of the anxiety, stress and negative emotions will disappear and you will feel amazing. That was today's mindset of the day. Thank you.